least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. The Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elf. I said as much the last time we were elf. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Oh, clever use of your axe, Kratos. Glad we explored. Oh no. They smell awful. Find you, watch out. Back to it then. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? On your right! Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Light up on the left! <laughs> can really jump. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. That's the wrong. 
Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elf with so much control over the temple. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartally offers counterpart. The dark elf king. Yes, he's in the light now too. <gasps> Here they come. Do what you must. It's the light orb! <laughs> Crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the castle. Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? 
feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this Another light door. 
There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle is really work. You think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may be now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his time. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? His choice. The wrong. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. Last time we were here, we killed the dark elf king. That's unfortunate. I wondered what became of Spark the offer. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. <laughs> Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost here. You still hear something wounded out there. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, crazy. <laughs> Father is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, isn't it? Mother inside last time. 
but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Dear. Yes? Yeah. We held the wrong side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this world? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. <gasps> the shrine is right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornir chest down here last time. <gasps> oh, guess they moved it. Whatever you need. I'll take him. And Atreus?
Kratos? What about your son? What'll it be? Have we more to talk about? That ought to hurt him. What can I make for you? Hey. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Got time to chat? The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But 
the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. We should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Light ball! Watch out!
Four more arrive. Go! 
Is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Over here! You're chased! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Look, 
just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Be slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Self assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting out. Can't they just leave us alone? Father, this way! <laughs> 
Let's keep moving. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Open the gateway, please. the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will 
discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up top. Once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Tears had enough time to uh, find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. <laughs> so, this whole spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a... Slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines. All part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral form still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Journey forth in health and safety, my friends. Hi, take the head. Go away! <laughs> 